In the past three weeks, we detailed the calm before the storm. And this past week, two massive sunspots turned across the earth-facing side of the sun. Positive and negative umbral cores in close proximity interacted to produce solar flares. It began on December 17th. A strong M-class solar flare erupted and surged a large area of the solar surface. Charged particles burst out of the corona, and Earth's upper atmosphere was ionized by the energy, creating a radio blackout. The Enlil spiral detailed the interplanetary shockwave from that coronal mass ejection. Then, the very next day, another strong M-class solar flare erupted, surged a large area of the solar surface, umbral magnetic fields snapped and released their plasma, another radio blackout ensued, and then there were two shockwaves on the way. While we waited, the crest, an X-class solar flare erupted as the sunspots began departing the Earth-facing side of the sun. Most of the coronal mass ejection went south, and even with a small amount of plasma visible heading in Earth's direction, nobody thought much of this shockwave's potential to impact Earth. Seven days of solar wind telemetry here. You can see how the calm was broken on December 21st as the first shockwave struck. The deviations were small but noticeably more powerful, and pressure and energy began working the magnetic field of Earth into storm conditions. Our poles also began taking elevated proton bombardments. The next day, we would see the impact of the second shockwave, but before any of its effects could be truly realized, the third arrived. This shockwave was the fastest, had solid density, and where plasma temperature was under 2,000 Kelvin 48 hours earlier, it now pushes upwards of 60 or 70,000. Energy in our magnetic systems is increasing. We'll need to watch the protons as Earth already had one radiation storm this morning. Magnetospheric instability is building and more magnetic storms may ensue today. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.